lot of work and it can be very stressful. That's why people say, oh, I want to quit my nine to five to, to, to be a, a content creator. You quit your nine to five to do a 24 hour job, 24 Basically. hour. You are a content creator. When you wake up, when you go mm-hmm. to sleep, when you go to the bathroom, when you go eat, you are constantly a content creator, literally. So quit your nine to five, which I never recommend people do. Go back to the question. So it's just what is your highs and highs and lows and lows in terms of this journey up until now? So a lot of if I can give the best advice to any mm. content creator is ex- expect disappointment. It's, mm. it's not going to be an easy route. That's why I said content creating is an oversaturated market of people who want to be on top. It's a popularity contest. Um, for my journey starting, it's just like being, you know, Dragon Ball is one of the most leading anime in the entire world. And to just try to fit my way into the over, just the overabundance of especially male content creators, I had to find a, find my own way of standing out. And it wasn't something I had to work hard to do because obviously I'm a woman, I'm a black woman, and my favorite character is Goku. How many black women you know whose favorite characters is Goku? You know what I mean? So that already yeah. kind of made me stand out a little bit. And I kind of just like use that as a way to push my own content. Um, just kind of just telling people about the Dragon Ball series and and trying to find my own spin and my own way to identify myself and make my mm. own imprint into onto the internet. It wasn't easy because, again, like I was competing with a lot of other pages who were like hundreds of times better than me, had way higher engagement than me. I, I mean, I tell people, if you have the time, if you're bored, go down to my earlier posts when I used to post. I used to get like 25 likes, 50 likes just because and I was literally just posting my tweets. You know, what I mean, I didn't wow. have like whole uh, layouts of posts like I have now. Mm. I was just making tweets and posting them on my Instagram and they wouldn't necessarily go out. But um, what happens is, is that it's a, another word I always throw out there is consistency. That's the thing that people always fall on. I mean, fall off of. Mm. You have to be consistent. Whether you have a post that's at 50 likes or 50,000 likes, you know what I'm saying? You have to keep it going. You have to keep posting every day. You have to keep making content every day. You have to put yourself out there, connect with people. That was probably one of my hardest things was connecting people. Even now I have a hard time connecting with people because I don't ever think a lot of people have my best int- me and my brand's best interest in heart. Mm. But you have to connect with people and you have to um, be consistent and find a niche. And for me, um, the lows was really just a lot of people when I was coming up as a creator and people saw that I was doing a good job. I got a lot of haters and I know that's like Mm. so cliche to say, oh my God, I'm doing great. I call these haters. The haters are real. You could be making, you could be making content about saving cats from trees or giving food to the homeless or just doing the most nicest, peaceful thing possible, you will have haters. Literally, they will hate on you. They will try to ruin you. They will slander you. So the lows for me is really just the overabundance of people who really was just praying for me to fall and just kind of just hoping that I failed and wanting me to not succeed. Um, But I kind of overcame that because where you get a lot of hate, you get more love. So I kind of just led off of that um, and just explored you know, what people like, you know, the feedback I got, a lot of people, you know, like when I talked about certain things, so I would cling on to that and just making my own stylization to represent myself along with logos and, and trying different things. So, yeah, I mean, it was just to get to from where I started, just someone who was like making tweets and trolling people to now being like the <laughs> official Dragon Ball creator that, you know, I met so many amazing people even celebrities and it's just like it's still wow. surreal to me because i even have like i just came from um weebcon in in dallas and i had like it wasn't a lot of people it was like two people but i, I was like <laughs> nah still <laughs> it was like is that this is a, honestly this is actually my first con i've never been to a con before Okay. He came up to me. It was like, it was like, wait, is that Black Boma? I was like, <laughs> you know me? Like, I'm actually somebody that people know. So <laughs> he was really cool, though. We took a picture together, um, and it was just really cool to like have somebody who actually kind of recognized what I do and, and mm. just know who I am. So it was really nice, and and just 
just that that you live in a moment because you know where you where you started from like mm-hmm. not being mm-hmm. somebody who was just a little dot in a sea full of dots and now you're just like this person that you know people know who i am now so the only thing i tell people is that my journey isn't your journey your journey, mm. is their, journey their journey isn't you know other people's journey so you have to work hard everybody can't go viral like Keith Lee just for eating food or you know uh going doing dances. They're mm-hmm. lucky. I call that luck. Some people say it's hard work. I say it's luck. As a content creator, when you do simple things and you just go viral for it, it that's luck. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um mm-hmm. people like me who literally have to sit up and work hard every day just to make content for people to enjoy. I like I you know what I mean? I, I kind of appreciate a little bit, but um I always encourage people to go the hard working route, but if y'all want to go that route of, of doing mm. crazy, silly things, then it's whatever you want to do. But, you know, I, I just hope to see more of my people with my same skin color thriving, to be honest. Amen. Yeah, Amen. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I love what you said about my journey's my journey, your journey's your journey. I think comparison is a thief of joy, right? Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people like to compare, oh, they started, I started before them or they started before me or, you know, I'm doing this, but uh, I'm, I'm, you know, they're better. I'm, I'm a much better creator. How did they get, you know, better views or how did they come up so fast and so on and so forth? I think when we start comparing, yeah. that's when, you know, your expectations uh, misalign in terms of what your success looks like. So mm-hmm. I completely love that um, thing you said yeah, sure. uh, regarding the journey. And yeah, I'm just, I, again, it's the iceberg effect, isn't it? You know, you seen you see someone at the top, but you don't know like the mass it took because you most really of them. Don't. You don't know you the don't. behind the scenes. I use Corey Kenshin don't. as an example all the time. Everybody misses him because I don't know if you know who Corey Kenshin is, but he's like a really popular streamer. He plays video games and stuff. And mm-hmm. um, he, he, take, he takes a lot of breaks. Um, I think some fans don't really understand the behind the scenes that come with maintaining big pages. I'm not Mm. saying I have the biggest page, but I only have like hundreds of thousands of followers. Imagine having millions of followers, having to entertain millions of people every single week. It's a lot that goes behind the production, you know, the editing, the, the marketing, all that, that goes behind that. It's a lot of work and it can be very stressful. That's why people say, Oh, I want to quit my nine to five to, to, to be a, a content creator. You quit your nine to five to do a 24 hour job, 24 Basically. hour. You are a content creator. When you wake up, when you go mm-hmm. to sleep, when you go to the bathroom, when you go eat, you are constantly a content creator, literally. So Quitting your nine to five, which I never recommend people do, um, is is kind of like you have to understand. It's not just oh, I'm going to post. It's a lot that goes behind it. So, and you really just kind of have to learn that being a creator. It's not just. It's not easy. It, it's really not. It's easy to boom, but not not when you have to maintain something. You know what I mean? So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no. I honestly speak the truth, honestly, because. Again, it looks glamorous from the outside, but it takes a lot of work, um, minions, as it were, to, you know, help that machine, yeah. especially also when you're just on your own as well. It's even like 10, 10 hundred times more. And I right. love, again, love that quote. It's a 24 hour. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's absolutely true. Um and it's one of those things where, look, we're not saying don't become a content creator. Of course, if, so, if there's something that you're passionate about, do it. But just be realistic. And it's not to say you can't, you know, build a big channel. Look, I, we started our podcast. It's not to say this podcast not going to grow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Bomber started our Instagram. It wasn't that it's not going to grow. As we've said in other um, po- podcast episodes as well, what does success look like to you? Mm-hmm. You know, is it growing millions? Fine. But be more realistic in terms of your expectations and what happiness looks like to you. Yeah. For me, it was when we got feedback from people just reaching out and saying, love your podcast. Yeah. You guys got me through COVID. For you, it's meeting those two fans in um, um, in that con or just other things. I'm sure your Discord as well. Yeah. Like there's a lot of things in terms of just creating something that people are enjoying and making them happy. That brings, for me anyway, um, a certain aspect of, you know, this is like a good purpose, you know? And then of course, if I, if it gets big and so on and so forth, that's an added bonus. But I, I'm not here sitting down saying I'm going to be, or I, I will be like, 
a millionaire podcast by 2024 or five. If it happens, it happens. But if it don't, I'm not going to be like sulking or anything. So, yeah. No, you said something perfect there. That's another thing I try to tell people. Enjoy what you're doing. Because mm. if you're trying to be a content creator just to make money, you will surely fail. You will surely fail. I can tell you, I know so many content creators right now that's broke, but their content mm. are so good. Their content is so good. You know what I mean? They're broke, but they enjoy what they do. They enjoy the things that you do. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm so realistic with people when it comes to monetization. You know what I mean? You, you're not mm-hmm. all, it takes a while to get paid. A lot of these brands yes. and businesses, they want content creators that are making millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views. If your video is only making like 20 or 30 views, even though you worked hard on it, you're not always going to make money. That's why I said to be a content creator, don't do it for the money. The money will mm. always come. The money will always come. You have to do it because you enjoy it. I When I make content, I don't worry about the money. I'd be like, y'all going to, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm like, what are y'all no, going to think about? What are y'all going to think about it? Like, what, you know what I mean? I'll be talking about my stuff with my, my discord and things like that. And in the comment sections and on my Facebook, you know what I mean? Cause the money is in, in, in the back end. That's the back end stuff. What happens? Exactly. What do you need to worry about? What happens on the front end? Are you engaging with your followers? Are you literally just posting and then going about your day? Because it's just it's a disengagement, you know what I mean. I I personally don't like content creators who, you you thrive off of your followers. So to post and then just be very distant from them. That's the reason why I made my mm. Discord in the first place because I don't want to feel like I'm just a creator that posts, and um, that's it. Bye. You know, mm. it's just like from it's like if you you like somebody like a YouTuber. And they comment on your stuff and they reply to you. It's like an exciting, I'm like, oh God, you read what I wrote. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I love the the thrill that certain people get when I reply to them or when I talk to some people on my Discord or just kind of just have casual conversations with people just because I don't want people to put me on this pedestal where it's just like, oh my God, it's the great mighty bomber. <laughs> like, I'm just this regular girl from Philadelphia that just loves talking about Dragon Ball. If you want to talk to me about your theory about Cooler, just talk to me about about it mm. like, you gotta be scared of me just because i make content and everybody knows what it is like i love talking to people i'm like i just tell you i'm a regular person you know what i mean you ain't gotta be scared i don't bite i promise <laughs> <laughs> no that's true I'm, I'm i'm in the discord and i see you all the time um yeah. commenting and um and, and speaking with the people in um bomber's radar so yeah. kudos to you yeah. on that and uh, again I'm it's one streaming of streaming the podcast on the- oh really <laughs> 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 Shout out Bomber's Radar. <laughs> um, okay. Hi, it's Ed, host of Super Anime Podcast. That's super with three U's. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this full clip. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It takes a moment for you, but means the world to us. And if you enjoy that, why not try one of these? I'm sure you enjoy that also. And as always, if you want to hear the full episode, Check out the full audio podcast in the description below. Until next time, peace.